Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Sunday the 14th of November 2021. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Green Witch Tarot today. Let's see what the cards have to say about Sunday's energy and what the day is going to look like. The Battle Wagon, also known as the Chariot. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Sun. Okay, so first of all, the message I get is that these two cards are connected and it's kind of the table, the woodworking table is on the other side of the cottage and he's out there in the garden working and this is his home. And it seems like a very serene, calm kind of place to be. Very productive, very cozy, very homey. And something positive rides into his life. So you may get some good news. Or you may meet someone who offers you loads of positive opportunities. New information that you can then work with. Or something that creates more security in your life and leads to a place of happiness. So be open to meeting new people today, to listening to new ideas to yeah be open mindedness is super super important and if you can manage to kind of keep that mindset going then you'll receive something on this day which influences your life positively and which seems like a gift and a reward so the seventh card in the major arcana the battle wagon the chariot that's a card that says sometimes you have to use self-will to get things done and sometimes things are difficult you know what's interesting i think a lot of people who work with manifestation and who kind of have a spiritual awareness often feel like okay if i try something in the real world and i try once or twice or three times and it doesn't go well then that may be you know the will of the universe and something bigger saying maybe this isn't a good idea the Battle wagon is the opposite of that idea. It says that certain things are going to be difficult in life and it doesn't really matter whether they're destined or meant to be or not. Usually we've got two sphinxes, black and white, and the chariot is kind of a symbol that sometimes self-will triumphs over circumstance and destiny and karma. It kind of puts a focus on this, this idea that because you're a spiritual being, you have complete free will and you can create whatever it is you want in the world. And that's interesting because that's something that we all have to kind of navigate at times. You know, sometimes the universe is sending us a message and it's saying, oh, well, maybe if this isn't working, then it's not meant to be. Like my thing when I was a school teacher, it just never worked out properly. And now, like, I mean, a long time later, I'm so glad that didn't happen. I didn't realize that at the time. But then at the same at the same moment, sometimes things are difficult and you have to keep trying and trying and trying and trying again. And then you do get to a place of victory and triumph and success. But the difficulty is sussing out when to keep moving forward and when to hold back and to accept uh, and when not to accept. So the battle wagon on this day is saying if you want something, if you feel like this is something that's meant to be in your life, whether it's a job or a relationship or a type of working or a location that you want, and it doesn't, the path doesn't seem quite clear and problem free, then on this day, it's important to keep pushing for what it is you want, because with the seventh card here, seven being the lucky number, it's very likely that you'll get what you want. And what we've got here is we haven't got a black horse and a white horse. We've got two white horses and white is often the color of spirituality and being guided. So this battle wagon is different in the sense that it's not just based on self-will and, and a, a whim that I want to complete or fulfill in this present moment, so being short-sighted. It's a message that says, whatever it is that you're interested in today, you're interested in for a reason, because your higher self, like this little bird flying next to the the battle wagon operator that is kind of giving you messages that that are saying keep going you can do it it's encouragement so the universe is working with you to achieve something that only you can achieve for yourself no one else can do it for you and the circumstances are really 
benevolent and they're very open to you. Because the two white horses are there galloping into his little corner of the of the village or whatever isn't going to be seen as a hostile takeover or a threat or something negative. It immediately signals that this is something that's positive and that's meant to create more connection and opportunity. So it's interesting. I think on a, I, I've mentioned this before, but generally the higher self, when that guides you, it's repetitive and quiet and you have to kind of strain to hear it. And that's why meditation and chanting and a spiritual practice is a good idea. The ego is usually loud and urgent and noisy and really easy to hear. And it's the ego guidance that usually gets you to a position where you keep pushing, but nothing happens. And it's the higher self that often encourages you to keep going despite the difficulties because there's some sort of happy place on the other side of the obstacle. And I feel with this card today, you can trust your intuition, your guidance. If something seems difficult and you can tackle it in the moment, then please do because it's going to have a happy outcome. The Seven of Pentacles is about working very hard and actually benefiting from the, the, your own efforts. By the way, with all these birds here, we've got a real opportunity for freedom. And pentacles is work, so freedom in what you're doing work-wise. And freedom <clears throat> about how you live and where you live and what works for you. He's decided that he wants to live in a cottage. You know, maybe his auntie told him when he was younger that he should live in a flat. But he's decided that he likes the countryside and this is what suits him. So he's worked hard to do that and now he's got his cottage. So it's... Um, Things can open up and your perspective really opens up. You are guided. You've got the confidence to pursue something new. And the Seven of Pentacles is saying that if you do look at some other way of navigating your life and exploring other options and seeing what works for you and what doesn't, you'll get some positive takeaway from that, which is going to feel good and it's going to make you feel freer. So he doesn't. he likes woodworking. He doesn't like cooking. And because he knows that about himself, he can be out in the garden in the sunshine working with these pentacles and he's happy as anything. So expect some sort of a reward in terms of um, ideas about money and work and your living situation. Or even um, expect some sort of news about your practical circumstances, which can enrich your experience. And pay attention particularly to other people who come in. So if you're closed off, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm not looking for any new friends today. Or we're not looking for inspiration or new ideas. You know, we just want to sit here and, I don't know, play Monopoly or whatever. Then you're missing an opportunity because someone is riding into your life who's bringing a lot of good stuff. And um, it will add to your idealized notion of what your life can be. By the way, I think we should all have that. <clears throat> when I kind of meditate sometimes, I go to a place that I've created in my mind. It's like a beach with with coconut trees and stuff. And it's really important to have a, like a spiritual environment that you feel happy and comfortable in. So just maybe close your eyes and put yourself in a location that you really love whether it's a forest or a beach or a mountaintop and then who do you want to have in your life and what do you want to have in your life and where's the house on that beach in which you live and what does it all look like sometimes just having that in your mind's eye is one a comfort and two it's a nice thing to have in there because it gives you something to strive towards so the sun is the major arcana card which usually talks about your inner child is happy you're in control of your life and you're living your best life because it's a happy, positive experience and you love the whole process. And in this, in this deck, it's simply about um, giving that same message, but putting it in a kind of earthy format. So the ideal place to live, the little garden with the sunflowers, the wheelbarrow, the tree, the bird, the sun. So look at what it is that you want to achieve. One, I think that you get news if you've already had something like that in place for a long time, like a dream you've been working towards, I get a great sense that you get a clue here on this day about how that's going to be a reality. But also, if you haven't been able to 
to paint that kind of a picture. You know, maybe you've been through some major trauma and you haven't planned ahead, or you've just been through something and you didn't think you were going to make it. And again, it just puts you in survival mode and you haven't had the luxury of kind of daydreaming and thinking, hmm, what could my life look like? And if you haven't had that opportunity, then try doing that today and use this energy to your advantage because this is the best way to manifest. The universe is working with you and telling you, come on, you can you can have everything you want and you've got your imagination and all this contentedness allowing you to paint that picture. So go for it and it's going to make your journey forward much clearer and the path much wider and easier to navigate. Number wise, we've got 19 and 7, that's 26. 26 and 7 is 33. Wow. Is it? Yeah. 7 and 7 is 14 and 19 is 33. Yeah. So 33 is not technically a master number, but I'm, you know, because I work in patterns and I look at things that work in conjunction with one another. And if 11 is the master number of service and 22 is the master number of the builder, then 33 is also going to have significance. And I often... um align that with the ascended masters and your guides and your angels and higher beings that work with you to help you create your life the way it's supposed to be. And with the 33 here today, one, that's very rare. And second, it matches the cards, which is saying you're getting news and support, which will allow you to create your personal bliss, your idealized Working situation or living situation or way of life. So, wow. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to audio reading with me. And I use astrology, numerology, and the tarot in my personal readings. The astrology chart I draw up by using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. And if you have any questions about your life purpose or what's destined for you in... in um, family or travel or relationships or spiritual development or anything at all really then please do get in touch with me for a personal reading <clears throat> if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit subscribe and share the video online please have a wonderful sunday and i'll speak to you tomorrow